Hey YouTube, Sensors Tech Forum here with another instructional video on how to get rid of that pesky virus that has been plaguing your iPhone. Uh, before we begin the instructions, uh, I'm going to have to uh, tell you a couple of things that you need to know. Always make sure to use trustworthy sources for your instructions, back up your files, and watch this video carefully. Okay, so let's begin. First step is to back up your data before you do absolutely anything because your iPhone may currently be at risk. One way to do it is to use external services like Dropbox. Here, if we open Dropbox, the Dropbox app, you can select all of your photos, absolutely each one of them, and then you can uh, you can click on, tap on Next and then uh, upload all of the files on Dropbox. Then you can access them from absolutely any other device that uh, you upload them as long as you have your Dropbox account on this device. The second step is we begin to clean up your browsers with Google Chrome browser. To do this, open Chrome browser and locate on the bottom right corner of your screen the three dots, tap on them and then tap on settings. After that, slowly proceed to scroll until you find privacy. Then tap on clear browser data, select everything and click on done. If you have any safe passwords, make sure you leave them. Select the time frame to all time and then tap on clear browsing data at the bottom of your screen and tap again to confirm it. So basically that will take care of uh, all of your browsing data on Chrome and eventually get rid of any browser hijackers on your Chrome. Step 3 is to clean up Safari. Now for Safari it's a bit more tricky because you're gonna have to go and open your settings and from there type on the search Safari and tap on the Safari app and from there you're gonna locate, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna locate where it says clear history and website data. Then you're gonna tap on it and tap again to confirm and that's it. You have now cleaned up Safari browser. The only difference is you have to access it from the settings. The next step is to clean up Mozilla Firefox. To clean up Firefox you need to open the browser and then you're gonna locate the three dashes at the bottom right and then you're gonna tap on settings. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to locate under privacy where it says data management. Open it, select every aspect of the data that you need to clear from your private data. You can also go to your website data and tap on clear website data to clear it. And then go back to private data and tap on clear private data. This will clear all of your data, your cache, and make sure your Firefox is running good. The next step is to clean up Opera. To do that, uh, you have to open the browser first. Uh, tap on all things here. And then you're going to go down on the bottom right and tap on settings. Uh, now, you have direct access here to clear browser data by tapping it and selecting browser history, cookies, cached images, and site settings and tapping on clear. This will make sure that you have cleaned up all the data from your Opera browser. Next step is to clean up your calendar from any pesky calendar notifications. Now you can do that by opening the settings of your iPhone or any other iOS device and tapping on calendar. From there, you're going to have to go to accounts. If you have some type of uh, virus like uh, calendar events that are created, it will be added here as an account. So the best thing that you can do here is open this account and delete it from your accounts by tapping on delete accounts. Now this phone in particular is clear from such accounts so we're not going to perform any removal here. The next step is to clean up your battery intensive apps. There are some apps that may be using a lot of battery on the background and this may be a bad sign for these applications. What you need to do is open the battery from settings and scroll down and you're going to look for any applications that are using power in the background. Now, be advised that if you see the background activity of those applications to take up a lot of your battery while you are not using them in the same time, then these applications are not good for your iPhone and they might even be malicious ones. So, yeah. The next step is to scan your iPhone for malware. To do this, you're going to open the App Store and you're going to search for any antivirus software. Now we have chosen to use this one in particular because it's free and it's a good demonstration on how you can do it. Simply search it and open it. And after you do that, 
click on accept and then tap on smart scan after you do that you can allow it access to your photos as well and you're gonna leave it to scan for your for any malware for any privacy issues and any performance issues as you can see here I found a couple of performance issues on this device in particular didn't find any malware in terms of protection but uh, still you can also fix those issues as you can see here it's uh, the software directly suggests you uh, fixes for improving the security of your device which is also good so yeah that's it guys basically that's how you scan your iPhone for any malware now if all of the steps fail uh, you can also go ahead and factory reset your iPhone be advised that you need to have backed up your data beforehand you want to do it, open settings and then open general and then go down and then tap on transfer or reset phone and then tap on erase all content and settings now for demonstration purposes we're not going to tap on this because it's gonna erase all of our data but when you tap on it it's gonna ask you to confirm and basically that's it that's how you will clean up any viruses from your iPhone thanks for watching guys and as always make sure to like subscribe uh, leave us a comment if you have any questions or any suggestions on how you can improve our videos and yeah thanks for watching guys